Hello guys, welcome to KBOX TV. It's your boy Kofi Basi Jr. And today we're here again with the whole team. We welcome back again Daniel Soa. He's been out for like quite a while, but we're glad that today he'll be able to join us to discuss um, what's happening in the world of boxing. So very soon I'll bring him on and then guys, you're going to see his face again. And yes, um, welcome back again Daniel Soa. And, our, and we have the original, Kujo Amenuda, who also joined us on the show today where we discuss the total boxing show where we talk all boxing from Ghana, Africa, and the world. We have, we have a very interesting topic to talk about. We'll talk about the fact that Ghana Sushi Comic will be in action this weekend in the USA, Las Vegas, to be precise. We'll talk about it. Um, we'll also talk about the Dogbe situation with his father that now Dogbe is self-managed uh, and what his dad had to say about it. Interesting topics uh, that we have to talk about today, as well as the trilogy happening between one bullet answer and uh, one time Sheriff Kwe, um, a common word terminator. One big, big fight that guys we can. We, I mean, super exciting times in Ghana. Let me just put it like that way. And the last thing that we'll talk about, in as far as Ghana is concerned, is that the um, we have fights coming up uh, soon. Um, as early as February 28th, John Lai will be defending his title versus Kamaru Dean. It's going to be a rematch, and we're going to see how it's going to go. Jumping internationally, Canelo's in the news, Manny Parker's in the news. Um, um, we have, um, how do you call it, uh, Mike Tyson in the news and Ivan Holyfield in the news. But guys, I'm super excited today, today because I have the whole team with me today to discuss these topics. Kujo Medoda is on today, Daniel Sowa is also on. I can't wait to bring them on. But one thing I would say before that, um, we're going is that um, make sure that you subscribe onto our YouTube. If you haven't subscribed onto our YouTube, make sure to hop on it as soon as possible. All you need to do is check the description on this topic and then you find the link to um, our YouTube channel. So that anytime that we come on here, you'll be able to, you know, um, get notified and then watch us. So guys, go or check the description. You see the link to our YouTube. Kindly jump or click on it and then subscribe as soon as possible. But guys, let me bring on the, the guy that we've missed so much. You know, he's been away. Let's bring him on real quick. Um, Daniel So Daniel, welcome to KBOX TV. Uh, thank you, Gofi. Thank you, Gofi. Oh, man, our condolences to you. You see I'm wearing black. It's for you, man. Our condolences yeah. to you for, and, and your, your family for uh, your loss. Um, we pray that um, may your cousin's soul rest in peace and, you know, um, uh, so we meet again. May he so rest in peace. Oh, thank you, Gofi. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and let me bring the original Don Dada himself, Kujo Amedola. Kujo, welcome to KBOX TV. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Gofi. <laughs> yeah, welcome, welcome, man. How was the weekend? Yeah, very cool weekend, anyway. Nice one, nice one, nice one. I'm super excited to have you guys all. It's always amazing to have the full team here because when the full team is here, you have different opinions and it becomes extra exciting. So I'm super excited that you guys are all. So guys, without wasting much time, um, let's jump straight to the Richie Come issue. Um, Richie Come is back into the ring. Um, or, I mean, he's looking to get back into the mix, the 135 mix. Let me take it from you, um, Soa, first. What are you expecting from the coming coming this this Saturday night? Well, Kofi, um, first of all, I wish him all the best, and you know the one thirty five is is a difficult um, division now. Uh, when you look at the talent we have there, but Kofi, even if he wants to move up with, it's still going to be uh, difficult for him because we have people that have solidified their um, names in the uh, division. So. If, if you look at um, his decision and the way he wants to come back, if he, the one to the five, I think if he should fight hard and he should train and uh, work work with a plan, he can, he can make his name at 135 because uh, there are some names there that we all know he can he can, he can actually beat them. When you look at, uh, maybe he can, like Ryan Garcia is doing now. Ryan Garcia is making money because he's going to make money in his next fight because he was able to beat um, um, a veteran like uh, uh, Luke Campbell. So if uh, if Richard Kome is coming back and is fighting this weekend, I think the next fight he should take maybe it can take Linares, it can take someone um, also like maybe Luke Campbell again because Luke Campbell uh, fought well, he dropped Ryan Garcia, so it's a big statement. So if he's able to beat uh, Luke, uh, Luke Campbell and Luke Campbell dropped uh, Ryan Garcia in the last fight, it, it gives him an edge that okay, then we can actually make a fight for him with uh, Ryan Garcia. 
And you look at the WBC too as well. Um, people, I don't know what is actually happening with the WBC title as to whether Deviani is rather running away from fights or uh, or he's being dug by the, the guys at wanted fight. So okay. it, it's, it's also an opportunity for uh, it coming. Because you see, if people don't want to take up a fight and you're able to win your fight, maybe you get someone like Lukambo, you can actually land a fight with uh, Deviani. And we all know if she face the Viani and if she work according according to plan, it can actually beat him because he has the power to even drop him. So I think it's, it's, it's a good it's a good idea as he's still competing at the wanted five. Interesting uh, comments coming in from uh, Sua. He says it's a very interesting time for us to see Richie coming back into the ring. And yes, it's the best time for him to also get his name into the mix. Now let me go to Amedoda. I mean, Amedoda, how is the the nation Ghana rally behind Richie Kome ahead of this fight. Mm. In fact, uh, Richie Kome is having Ghana behind him. Mm. And then, mm. seriously, uh, 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 I believe he's working for him. Ghana right. is behind Richie Kome, and they are believing that hey, he got to put back his, his name on the 135 top ranks, and then we see what happened, especially hoping that. He might get a title shot and then get a chance to win a title. Again. That is all the whole Ghana is believing. And then we are behind him. Anyway, we are behind him. We are forcing and, uh, uh, and saying that, yeah, Richie Komi will get back to the landmark and then win a title. So that's our belief. Right. 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 Um, so uh, now let me, let me come back to you. I mean, Richie Komi, looking at his last fight. Um, the fight that we all thought that he could, he would be able to um, overcome. That's uh, Teofimo Lopez, but uh, he, he fell short in in, the, in round two. Um, and that I mean, he came to Ghana, and then we he assured Ghanaians that when he when he gets back to the US, his goal is to become a two-time world champion. And I think last week I read an article that he said that before he he, he achieves that. Be, he has to take care of um, Jackson uh, Marines, and after taking down Jackson Marines, he was going to get his name back into the um, the 135 discussions, and then he will be able to, you know, get land a world title shot soon. Looking at the title holders now, I mean, um, Teofimo Lopez, who he's already fought before, and having three titles at the moment, the BBC. Um, including the WBC franchise <laughs> title, <laughs> and then looking at the um, the David Henry who has the the WB, um, WBC regular um, title itself, and then um, David Henry who has sorry um, Jovita Davis who has the WBA um, title. Who 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 among these these people do you think that Richie Kome has a very strong chance of defeating if 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 there is an opportunity today or tomorrow? Uh, Kofi, I'll pick David Henny. I'll pick David Henny. And why, uh, why, why, why David Henny? Okay, uh, Kofi, when you look at uh, Lopez, Lopez mm. um, has some great footworks. He has power and he has speed. And when he fought, when he fought with Jacomi, we also we also happened. His speed and power won that fight for him. Because mm. Jacomi threw, Jacomi went for a big shot. Mm -hmm. But he landed it late. He didn't even land it. He got there late. Lopez was able to land fast. And if they should fight again, a similar thing will happen. Because mm -hmm. uh, uh, Lopez chose with precise. He chose when he chose a point. He doesn't choose. He doesn't throw any punch like anyhow. And he has that speed. Now mm -hmm. you come to Devonta Davis. With Devonta Davis, uh, with a style of uh, Richard Comey and the height of Devonta Davis, it's going to be very difficult for Richard Comey to beat Devonta. Because, uh, you know, Richard Comey is a street fighter. And usually when you want to watch a street, like two street people fighting, they must come with the same reach and the same height. Because the punches they throw, it comes from, it comes from everywhere. Mm -hmm. So when you have someone that is shorter, that you are throwing punches like from everywhere, you are throwing bombs from everywhere, how many are you going to land? Already the, this, the, the, the height difference is going to make you uh, lose some shots that you, uh, you can actually land. So with Devonta Davis, and secondly, Devonta has power and he has speed as well. Mm. So I don't see him beating Devonta Davis. It might be a competitive fight that could go the distance. And mm. even if Devonta is going to win against Richard Comey, 
through a knockout. I see it maybe in the latter rounds, maybe mm -hmm. uh, 10, 11, 12 there about. That's when they can actually land him down. Because you know Richard Coming can actually absorb absorb most of most of his shots. And if he yeah. can work on his teams, they can even go the distance, but I still see Jimonta winning that fight. Right. And now we come to um um uh, uh, the, the Vienna. The Vienna. Now we come to the Vienna. If he, with the Vienna, the Vienna will try to fight like Mayweather. But I keep saying there's only one Mayweather, and there can only be one Mayweather. And that style is only going to be for Mayweather. You can't try to be someone you are not. Because you see, when you start doing that, it might work for you one or two. But when you meet a real fighter, you are going to have yourself in trouble. And like I spoke about the height, the height and all that. You see, when you look at the height, they have the same height, like Demiani and uh, Richard Cummings. Oh, okay. the same yeah. Now, you are going to try to put your head on the shoulder and behave like Mayweather. It's going to throw bombs from all angles. You see, when you want to behave like Mayweather, you don't fight, you don't really fight a street fighter. You fight someone who will come and display the sweet signs of boxing. Because you saw it with Madina. And Mayweather is a smart boxer. He was able to adjust before he was able to beat Madonna for people, for the fans to accept that, okay, he has beaten Madonna. You know, in the first fight, Madonna was throwing shots from everywhere. So even some of the uh, punches were not landing. But when you look from behind, because he's a street fighter and it's all over Mayweather, you feel like he's winning the fight. And yeah. the Vienna cannot behave like Mayweather in a fight with Richard Comey. He can never behave like Mayweather. Mm. He will be caught with a lot of shots. He will be caught with a lot of shots because Richard Comey will be throwing bullets from everywhere and it will be it will be on top of him from round one to twelve if it might even go the distance. And in that fight, I see I see Richard Comey beating the Vienna, winning the Vienna by a knockout. Because the shot that he's going to throw will actually hit the Vienna and eventually he will drop that he will drop that left hand and the uh, Richard Comey will win that fight. All right, now then let me come to you, Amedoda. I mean. Let's focus on the fight that Komi has coming this weekend, his opponent. Let's talk about Jackson Marinez. What do you know about him and what threats do you think he poses for um, the former IBF uh, lightweight champion, Richie Komi? Kofi, this is the fight that I believe strongly that uh, Richie Komi will win. I believe strongly that Richie Comey will win this fight. But how he will win it is the most important thing. Because this is the, the comeback fight for Richard Comey in 135. The same as Marines too. Because he also lost. Okay, to one of the top guys yeah. over there. Can you hear us, brother? Can you hear us? Oh, I think I think I think we've lost him. Uh... But the the point I was trying to make Kofi, is a very important point. Right. Why not? Right. So, oh, yeah. The alarm light okay. at. Yeah, we can hear you now. Now we can see you and hear you. Yeah, Kofi, that's what I'm saying, that uh, <clears throat> both of them are coming to put their name on the limelight mm. at 135. Mm. And then what, especially Richard Comey, who have the upper hand because of he was a champion over there, what he's supposed to do is to make sure he registered this fight in a very devastating manner right. so that he named to go back there and then whenever that they try calling 135 his name will be up there mm. so it depends on him how he do it for him to get his name back on 135 but one my problem that i have is marines is a skillful boxer very sleek that is the problem that I have with this fight for Kome because I want Kome to win this fight and win it in a very devastating manner. So what Kome should do to win this fight is to prepare himself well.
think my little kid, um, his network keeps um, failing him sometimes. It goes back and forth. But guys, um, this is the boxer that we are talking about. His name is Richie Kome, and he's going to be in action this weekend against Jackson Mariners on the top rank card at the Las Vegas. Um, in, oh, sorry, in Las Vegas, you know, so um, we're trying to get Kuja to, to 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 for him to conclude a statement on um, the way he this thinks is that... A, this team plays in. Yeah, um, you, you went off, but you, we can hear you now, Amedoda. Thank you very much. Mm. So, uh, the thing is how he will win the fight is to go in there, especially, first of all, prepare himself very well. Go into the ring with full figure, knowing that, hey, the ring is for him. Go in with ring generalship and then try to take this guy out with no respect. Mm. Yes. And he need psychological mindset to go into the ring with. That is what he lacked in the last fight and then he paid for it big. Mm. So this time he should be so psychologically worked on and then with power I don't have problem. Stamina I don't have problem and the rest but he should go in this into this fight with very very psych and then when he go in there he's ready to deliver. To beat this guy, take him out before the 12th round, and then he'll be part of the names at 135. Interesting um, comments coming in that uh, from Amedoda. He thinks that he needs to take him out without respect. And by, by, by that, do you mean he should knock him out or something? For sure, knock out. Okay. He needs to knock this guy out before round 12. Before round 12? Yes. He's not, yeah, because what I'm what I mean is, uh, Richard Kome is not just a boxer at 135. Yeah, he fought world title at 135 about four or so or three, I believe so. Right. Or yeah, about four. He fought if, world if, title at 135 about four. Okay, so once the bookmakers decided to take his name out of the 135, okay. The bookmaker yeah, yeah. decided to take his name out. Mm. This is the chance for him to put his name back on the map there. So mm. it should be devastating knockout. And he can do it. But if okay. he's not psyched very well, then that will be his problem, as it happened mm. to him the last fight. Okay. 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 I get you. I get you. And, I, and you've, you've really made your point very clear. Um, you, he, he had an interview with the Ring TV. I was trying to see whether we can listen to it, listen to it and, you know, um, and also air our opinion. But it's, it's a very long tape. So it, it's, if we say we're going to listen to it, we're just going to, you know, um, delay. So we just wish him well and hopefully he'll be able to, you know, uh, deliver um, on Saturday night. Now, prediction, quick one, prediction. So uh, how, how, how do you, what's your prediction of this fight? Okay, uh, difficult to predict, but I'll, just, I'll go for a win. A win for <laughs> Richard Cole. That's the normal win. You don't mind if it's yeah, a uh, knockout. Yeah. <laughs> that's the normal win. Okay. Yeah, so, normal that, win. What, what was your prediction for this fight? This position is coming from my heart. He will win, <laughs> but I don't I don't want just a win. I want him to knock yeah. this guy out. You want him to knock him out. So, later round knockout for coming. Later round. Yeah. Later round. Okay. Yeah, later, later round knockout. Now, now let's jump into another fantastic boxer that is doing um, that. That that uh, I mean, his name is rising. His name has already been rising, but it looks like he's getting the props. And now there's an opportunity for him to fight in the US very very soon, guys. I'm talking about the one and only Jatabi. So Jatabi um, might be in action in April, uh, somewhere in April, and uh, his opponent. And all these details will be coming very, very soon. I mean, Jatabi Wasiru Mohammed. I mean, let me let me go straight to Ahmedoda on, on, on this one. Jatabi Mohammed and the possibility that he might get he might make his US debut 
on U.S. soil. Um, oh, sorry, he might make his U.S. debut in April. What, 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 what of that, uh, the opportunity or the possibility of him going to fight in, in the U.S.A. Uh, very, very soon? The chances that Jatabi is having now is getting very high. The reason why I'm saying this is, uh, first he was with uh, other managers. Now he got a chance to pay on paper with different managers from US who are very solid on the ground than the previous managers. And then they have all this the one, chances to get a fight for him. This one, uh, uh, his managers are still working. He's still working with his managers, but the people that he signed with them are now uh, these new promoters. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. are the promoters. That's what I mean, anyway. Okay, so yeah. these new promoters or these promoters that are adding to his team are having mm. a whole lot for him. Okay, yeah. he's now going to have his first uh, 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 his debut at uh, 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 in the uh, US, mm -hmm. the house of boxing, mm. and then the intimidation and things like that are very huge over there. So, yeah. what I love so much is. Jatabi is going to fight against Mexican boxer. We all mm. know how the Mexican they do, do when they are in the ring. And that is the right. style, that's sweet, the Jatabi style. Jatabi right. is up and coming, okay? He's right. up and coming. Right. Like they are giving him a very tricky boxer or a boxer from US or something like that. I will, I, I will be shivering anyway. But a boxer from Mexico, and we know how the Mexican go about it in the ring, then I know that Jacabi is in there to put a statement on the map. He's going to make it. Right. I know very well Jacabi is going to make it. He's up and coming. He have a whole lot to learn to be part of the top. Right. At the, uh, 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 the division there. But with this Mexican boxer, okay, Jatabi is going yeah. to make it. Yeah. He's going to knock this guy out and then make the name for himself. And then the debut will be solid for him in the US. Right. I know I know you are very passionate about this kid, um, um, so uh, I mean, where is the passion coming from? And I mean, the fact that he will be fighting a Mexican fighter by the name Florentino uh, Hernandez on April 10th. I mean, how excited does it also make you feel? Uh, I'm so excited. You know, um, that Jatabi is one of the boxers that um, um, I really like. I, I, I like the guy so much. I like the guy so much. When it comes to discipline, when it comes to brand, when it comes to like the way um, I've been able to do for him, Kofi, I admire everything about the boy. And when he's in the ring, he's full of fashion. You know, usually these boxers that we get locally, when they are in the ring, sometimes it gets into their head. This kind of local jama and stuff, it gets into their head. So their performance, their performances is not even up to it, even though they are naturally born fighters. But Kofi, this, this boy is so excellent. And, you know, it's not just about his management. He himself is focused. He knows where he wants to go. He knows what he wants. And let's take that aside. Now, the managers as well. Kofi, this is a locally managed boy that has been able to attract foreign uh, foreign promoters and stuff. All the work was done here. And yeah. this, this is the boy that upcoming promoters. This is a boy that upcoming managers. This is a boy that, this is a boy that uh, even boxes, boxes look from the local places, the bookum and stuff have to look up to. So this, this boy has been able to do what uh, we, don't, we, don't, we don't regularly see. Mm -hmm. He did everything in Ghana here and he has been able to attract uh, foreign promoters and that is what we are all looking for this is yeah. what this is the motivation this is the inspiration that every promoter every manager needs and if this this is what the boy is doing we have to really project him like the right. news um the, the traditional media the look the re everything coffee they must project this guy because this is this is what this is the inspiration that some of the boys just need to be able to go to where they want to, where they are supposed to be so yeah. me admire him too much apart from that he's an excellent fighter Kofi, Jatabi is an excellent fighter. And one thing that I'm praying is that when he gets to the U.S., he shouldn't forget the kind of things that he did that attracted the people to come for him. Mm. You know, Jatabi, Jatabi is really authentic. When you look at his dressing, and he has a bit that Jata, Jata, Jata kind of thing in him. 
So I, I like I like that thing so much. And mm -hmm. if he should get to the US and fight this Mexican guy with this all Jata thing and the local uh, this uh, local dressing and stuff, Kofi, it's going to attract numbers. And what does numbers do? Numbers bring the millions. And the millions yeah. is what you are looking for. Once you start making the millions, if you have a lazy boxer in Ghana here, you will wake up and will know that no, Jata B is making millions. Okay, let me also go and make millions. Kofi, Jata B is a brand. It's, it's a big brand, I tell you. Right, it's, right. it's really a big brand. Because you see, in the other US, people will start asking, what's the meaning of Jatabi, Jatabi, Jatabi? And that itself will sell him. Like, it will, it will really sell him. You can get a lot of endorsement deals from all these kind of things. Right. Jatabi, Jatabi is, 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 is going to be the biggest star. He's going to be the biggest star. In the, uh, uh, but we're all missing that person, all of him. Because it's, it's a right. discipline. Any, any promoter that is managing this boy will, feel will, feel, will, be proud, will be proud to even be a manager of Jatabi. So right. Kofi, the, guy, the guy will go far. The guy will go far. Those are the, and, like, the last words of um, Daniel Soa. And I also believe strongly that the guy will go far. All he needs to do is stay focused, like he said. And then, you know, uh, when he gets to the top or when he gets to the US, where the home of boxing is, he shows them that he truly is what we say he is. Because, yes, he's a proper brand. He's been well sold. And, is, and I mean, the man, like you said, the managers have done everything here. So, um the rest is, or the rest is left for him to go deliver when he gets the shot in, in, in on 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 April tenth in the USA against Florent, uh, Florentino Perez. Now, guys, let's jump straight to uh, Dobby. I'm sure you guys have all read the article that um, now he's he's self managed. Of course, I, it, I, I I don't know why it is now coming into the media, but I think they've already the guy has already done a lot of things in recent times for us to know that he's self he's self like managing himself. You see, the time that is that couldn't go to the US, go watch, uh, go help him prepare for the first of COVID-19. But even before the COVID-19, before the COVID-19 and after the, the time he fought and everything, you didn't see like the, the combination like that. So from there, I, I've, already, I've always concluded in my head that I don't think that they, are, they have that manager and boxer. Of course, father and son is there, but you don't have that manager and uh, doctor, um, you know, relationship. But we, I'm, I'm finally he aired it out, and I think um, the public were a little bit shocked. For me, I wasn't. Um, uh, many Ghanaians, or a lot of Ghanaians, have said that they have ever even wanted the boy to even manage, go find different managers on his own. But now, I mean, the word is out. Everybody knows. He says that he manages himself. Um, his father said, you know, uh, on radio, and he says that oh, he has his blessings. You know, he has his blessing. He doesn't have any bad luck. Already told the boy, you know, they've already made it. You know, so it, it was just the way that he texted him to tell him that um, he doesn't want to be his man. Had something like the way he texted. Him. He, maybe he was expecting a face to face conversation, but then it was, you know, you know, technology. Now everything is on Instagram, Twitter. And so the same with the boys, you can also message you like that. You understand? The world has changed. So I think uh, his father was expecting a face to face, and then it rather became like a text, uh, like he sent him a text. I mean, reacting. I want to get your reactions on this, on this thing that um, the double the situation from Amadouna. And then I'll, I'll come to you. What, what are your reactions from this that uh, has happened in the double camp? Yeah, it's very, very unfortunate anyway, Kofi, I would say that. It's very, very unfortunate that uh, the understanding will not be there for Paul and Isaac to be together for a very long time. Mm. Uh, in fact, I would say it, if it's not because of Paul Dogbe, Isaac Dogbe, Will not be where he is now. Okay. Yes. Well, you might not like the way he did it, but he did it. Yeah. Okay. Paul yeah. Dobe is a, 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 a world a, a champion coach. Yeah, yeah, of world course. Title, world yeah. title coach. Of yeah. Course you might not yeah. like the way he did it, but he did it. Yeah. 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 He did it. Okay, <laughs> yes. So, I think, and then the other thing that I saw is he was there for the boy. 
Yeah, he was. Through think and thin. Hmm. He was there for the boy. Right. He 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 do things that people think about as it that no. But he's doing it just because he wants the boy to get to a stage that he wants to. Right. Okay. Right. I don't know which boxer is more popular in Ghana, even from Azuma Nelson or even from DK Poison. I don't know which boxer is popular than Dobe. At the moment or before or all time? Through the through the ranking. I don't know which boxer is popular than Dobe. <laughs> Maybe yeah, through the ranking. I know what I'm saying. Maybe I'm not I'm not explaining it well for many to understand. But hey, Dobe okay. is a very young boxer that can even right. go to the palaces. The palace mm -hmm. of Angro, the palace mm -hmm. of Ashanti, the palace of Achim, the palace of Ga, the palace of Dagbon. Okay? Yeah. If he's not his father, he will not get that chances. Okay. okay? And then all these places, what are they going there to do? Just to introduce him for a blessing in kind, a blessing in spirit and things like that. Those are the things that the father did for him. Mm -hmm. You understand? And then he uh, became a world champion. And then the state that he got to, yes, so many things attached to it anyway. Right. But I believe strongly, you know, the father have a background of a uh, physical instructor. It's a yeah. plus for Dubai in whatever that he's doing. And then he is the father, so he's there for him. Whatever that you will do, the father will say that, hey, do this. This is what I want you to do. If you cannot do it, then there's nothing to be done. Okay? So, if by 26 or so now, Dobe is saying that he's his own manager, fine, Dobe is a smart kid, grow up in Europe, and then, you know, one and two things that uh, we, 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 we cannot easily get a chance for over here. Mm. But still, I believe strongly that, hey, if the father is in the team of the management, things might go well. The reason that what I'm seeing is sometimes Paul, the father, go wayward. Mm -hmm. Okay? He do go wayward in so many things. Those mm -hmm. might be the reason why this thing is coming out that Dobe want to, uh, Isaac want to depart from his father and then be his own manager and things like that. But I'm still seeing it to, uh, to be something which will bring negative effect in his career. Okay, it might be very little anyway, but that is what I saw. If the father is with him, there are some lungus that he cannot go through alone. The father will <laughs> let him, will guide him to go those places, to pass those places. That's all I, I, like I, the I am seeing. Like some lungus. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> there are some lungus. <laughs> yeah, you see. <laughs> and that is, so I am not happy. I am not happy with the depart and things like that. I still believe that the father should be part of the team and then maybe some little guidance and things like that. And Kofi, think about it. The father is not totally happy with how the whole thing happened. Okay? Like, the father is a local guy. If I say local guy, he grew up. Mm -hmm. Okay, he grew up in Ghana here in his family, and then he knew how those things goes according to Anglo tradition. Okay, no matter how, no matter who you are, you got to go to your elders. It is part of Anglo tradition. Yeah. Right. So if you just on Twitter or wherever, my father, I'm um, parting way with you and things like that. The father will not be happy with it, but the father will think about the European side of the Dobe and then keep it cool. That is not how it should go. But he right. have nothing to say apart from blessing him. And he said that himself. So who am I? Okay. Okay. But let's pray for Dubi. Let's pray for Dubi. Let's pray. Let's pray for Dubi can be like some hashtag. Let's pray for Dubi. But <laughs> let me let me just come. Um, so I mean, so uh, what what were your, when you heard the news or when you read the news, what were your reactions? Were you like, oh, it was it's good that he's left, or you feel like he should have stayed with his dad? Uh, initially when I heard the news, I was happy. I was happy it's like his dad. But later later again, I, I thought of it. I was thinking about it, how the thing about it and everything. And I felt it's a, it's some kind of betrayal too from Dobie. 
mm-hmm. you know, there's some kind of vitriol from Dogbe, the way the whole thing looks like. But we don't know deep, deep inside, like, the things that happened before even he bringing all these things on social media. Now, mm-hmm. if you want to talk about the business aspect and the fighting aspect of boxing, with the fighting aspect, you can tell that uh, Paul Dube also did what he was supposed to do, as to, like, groom him and give him the basis of boxing. He did well. Apart from that, he being the promoter of Dogbe too, he also did well. You have to give that to him. He was able to um, come bring the boy to Ghana, make sure the boy uh, became, uh, he made the boy, he made Dogbe, Dogbe a, household, a household name in Ghana. Um, he was able to use his foreign, although Dogbe has been in the uh, UK and all that, he was able to also attract people to uh, get even a whole top tank to come on board to work with Dogbe. Now, right. all these things that Dogbe did, we're right. He did. He did it. He did it so well, and I know a lot of boxers will be even be wanting this kind of opportunities from uh, managers. Right. He did well. Now, what he didn't understand, or what maybe I sit from behind and I see, I see him to be a little arrogant. You know, okay. you've done all the work. You've done the basics of the work. Now, boxing, international boxing, has its own direction. Mm-hmm. You understand when you when you become a world champion and you want to reign for a long time, it has its own direction. And boxing, boxing, boxing keep changing. Look at the Muhammad Ali yeah. time because the, the time before Muhammad Ali time, Muhammad Ali time they brought in the footworks and stuff. Right. You get now Tyson's Tyson's time. It was more about power, footwork, speed, and everything. Now it's in a division that we all know that uh, new boxers are coming, and right now the sweet science of boxing is really working. So if you're a coach and you've been able to bring him out, and right now he's, he's now supposed to face tough um, opponents, if you still want to be with him, then you must update yourself with the Swiss science of boxing. Right. As a coach, you must update yourself with the Swiss science of boxing so that anybody Dogbe meets, Dogbe can be able to uh, fight that person without even need, needing um, a boxer, um, a coach that has been through the Swiss science of boxing to come and teach him. And that is right. where the problem came. In the yeah. first fight, in Navarrete, we saw what happened. The writer, the writer was beating him throughout the rounds and Dogbe had no response. There was no response from Dogbe. The coaching side, every side, like every, everything just went off. So he clearly, he clearly told uh, the fans of boxing and even the box, uh, boxers, uh, the people in the US that Dogbe was lacking certain things in boxing. And now these certain things that Dogbe is lacking is um, a coach that is more is more familiar with um, the three signs of boxing and what is happening now. So mm-hmm. what I expected Paul Dube to do now is for him to step aside a little. That doesn't mean you're not going to train him anymore. You still train him. But you step aside a little for Dube to start learning new things. And what is going to happen is that when Dube starts learning new things, he himself will see that the competition is huge. Because I didn't know this. And Navarrete, Navarrete destroyed me because I didn't know all this. You understand what I'm saying? So if, right. if Dube had stepped back, to uh to uh, for Dogbe to get someone from the same side of boxing like these big big coaches to even work with him mm-hmm. it would have been it would have been a plus because bear in mind these big big coaches too they wouldn't get all that kind of time for Dogbe they would just yeah. come and tell you do this do that so you sit at the back it's your son you love him so much and because of the love you have for him like uh Medina said you went through all those lungu lungus because right. no nobody will do that for Dogbe except for his yeah, father right. except for his dad right yeah and he was able to take you to all these chips and stuff. All these things too, it builds up your name. People get to know you. Oh, that boy no, way this time. Into my uncle share. You get what I'm saying? So right. if your dad, that your dad did all these things for you, and you just wake up a day, and I don't even know what happened, but even regardless of what whatever that happened, you know we are Africans, and Africans you must respect your elders. If he's he's, he's, he's even your father, so even if things went wrong, you should have sat down with him, tell him that. Listen, this and this, I don't want it. So if he doesn't understand and he has admitted his arrogance. That is why you come on social media and you tell him, yes, you have a conversation with your dad. Your dad is not so cool with it and he doesn't want to understand you. So you feel you want to move on. That would have been better. Because I, I personally feel Paul Dube is bitter. And if mm-hmm. for, for him saying he wishes him well and has given his blessing, it's just for social media. Because Kofi, nobody will cook, nobody will cook for you to read this certain stage for you to work him out. No. At least give him a bigger position or something like you have you have managers, you have new coaches you are working with, but he's still the one that's like he's still involved in everything you do. You can't just take him out. It's yeah, wrong. Like, let, 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 let's be sincere. We've seen 
let's let's take Ryan Garcia for instance. Yeah, Ryan Garcia is working with Eddie Reynoso, but before he joined the Canelo camp, he was working with his dad. Yeah. You understand? He worked with them for a while, and when um, uh, the boxer himself felt like he needed a new hand, he brought in. Um, um, or he went for Eddie Reynoso, but he didn't let his father go. His father is still <laughs> part of the team, you know. And when any time that they interview Eddie Reynoso, he he goes like, he just he, the father is part of the team. His father is the person that even though the, the kid wanted him, he made sure the father was part of the you know the team to make it happen. Because you know, I, I'm I'm not saying like, uh, I understand where you guys are coming from, and I think it would have been the best. But after reading the comments and everything and the news, I felt as if, like I'm saying, if you read the news, you definitely feel like the dad is not very okay with the situation. But of course, like it's your son, no matter what, you have to still give him the blessing. So, so, so that's why I agree with where you guys are coming from that no matter what, at least you should have made him still join the team or be part of the management at least. And then, you know, sort things out, no matter what. Exactly. Because Kofi, if you want the best for your son, and um, all these things are happening, you mm -hmm. just sit down with him. You understand? You bring in someone to uh, co-train him with a few signs of boxing, like uh, uh, a high. When 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 do we moved with uh, this man? What was his name? The one with the Pacquiao's trainer, Freddie Fred, uh, Roach. Freddie Roach. I was so happy about it. And, you know, when it was, let's say, if Fred Roach was there and he was still with his father, his father will, will still be training with him. Fred Roach will come and teach you. You do this. Or Fred Roach is that kind of a coach that is able to read fighters. He's able mm -hmm. to read fights. He tells you, okay, this fight, we don't have to go this direction. We have to do this. We have to do that. So he just needed something like that just to the team. But you can't just take your dad out. That, 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 for that, is wrong. And, you see, I think, apart from everything to... Uh, Dobe needs psychological help because some kind of things he post. And, you know, the way Navarrete, the way the destroyed him twice. It, it's as little as he told me. is changed. Dobe is changed. Right? He's not a bad boy. He fucked it out. Is he, he's not a fuck it out. No, he was, he was, he was, he was young. Dobe was a very young boy, you know, 22, 23 world champion. But now he's growing. 26. Now he's a 26 young man. Now, now, he, yeah, now he's a man. man. Right now, cry the export crap. So, so I think, I think, I think, I think, um, I think that that's 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 where we leave it. And he, I, I think he's left. He's left Ghana. You want to yeah. say something, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I want to say yeah. something more about this. Do you know uh, okay. this Isaac guy is the first boxer yeah. here to his father? And then he's having two younger brothers who are very good. Both of them are very good. Even right. the second one who is taller than Dobby, okay? Taller and bigger than Dobe, who always give sparring to Dobe when Dobe have a fight. That guy's the bookmakers are saying that that guy is better than Dobe. Okay, mm. and then he's in amateur, and the father sometimes do say that hey, this guy will become one of the youngest heavyweight champion in Ghana here and things like that. Okay, right. when the father tried to raise Dobe, he stepped on some toes. Right. which I don't think, well, okay, I need not to go there, but he did some things that would take a very long time to get back into a normal position. So I, what, what, what I'm trying to say is he used all the chances for Isaac to become oh, okay. somebody, to become a champion, okay? And he don't have that power, okay? Or he cannot get that power to use again for the junior brother to become something somebody that people are saying that he is better than isaac okay even i saw him sparring with with isaac i see that this guy he might be better than isaac all the okay. chances are there for him to be better than isaac okay and then if you isaac you get the chance to start making money this is the time for you to be closer to your father 
and then your father will channel the resources to help your brother, your junior brother, for him to come up. So if you come out and say in that, hey, my father, fine, in the coaching side, they deal with that one already. The father is not part of the coaching. Oh, yeah, let's go. The way I say that, they like, look at your son there, you're watching the same. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the time for you, Isaac, to generate money because now you are on the limelight. You can generate money for the money to be used and take care of your younger one for them also to get to the level okay so if you are saying right now that fine in the coaching aspect your father step aside already now the management aspect that is what we are talking about now and you are saying your father to step aside totally okay how is your father going to do and help your junior ones to come up do you see the corners that these things are, or some of our thinkings are coming from? Yeah, I see, man. I see. Yes. Isaac supposed or need to draw his father closer to him than before. Maybe some allocations and things like that, so that the junior brothers also get that chance mm. from the father to help him up. Okay. So if he didn't do that, and he is saying that, hey, my father, step aside, let me manage myself. If I get something, I'll bring it to you. This is my father. Oh, indeed. no, that's not going to help the family. That's not going to help the brothers. So the decision that he's taking, please, he should think about it again. Okay? He's not taking decision again between him and his father. He's taking decision between him and the family. The whole family, right. The whole family. Okay? So he should think about it again. He have all the chances. I believe strongly to get all the chances to become a world champion again. Even apart from that, he get the chances to make more money because now he's in the limelight. His name is all over. Everybody know him. Right. Okay. It's not a matter right. of he growing up with his mind and his doing and things like that. And then he making money. So if this is the time for us to make the more money, okay. And then you are saying that, oh, I should stay aside. You should go and come and tell me what is it. How am I going to help your younger ones? Because they also have uh, the talent, everything. Only love with the help. You cannot help them like if I'm as I, if, if I am there for them. So what is Dubai talking about? You should think about it again. Interesting. Yeah. You, 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 you've, you've really, you've really opened another chapter that I think many of us are not like really. And I think that I think there will be more to it, and more deeper than more, more deep. You know. So, so that you can't see that like, hey, now I want to manage myself. You go and see that. So now, <laughs> now I understand where you're coming from. Now I do understand. <laughs> now, guys, if you're going to stay with the dog base, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll run out of time. So let's jump to what's happening in Ghana um, on the 28th of February. Um, this kid, John Lai, will be back on the 28th of um, February to defend his title against Kamaru Dean. He, he fought, the first fight was between him and Kamaru Dean. He knocked him out, but Kamaru Dean was giving some excuses after the fight. So it looks like he's going to get the opportunity to fight him again. And this time, it will be the defense of the W. Sorry, the Ghana featherweight title. It's going to happen on 28. The Ghana Boxing Authority um, um, secretary to get the itinerary that they have coming up. But it looks like we also have a trilogy coming between One Bullet and Sa and then Sheriff Quay. That's the fight I wanted to talk about. Bullets and then one time. Um, so, uh, what do you expect? Uh, Gofi, this time around, you know, uh, the boys they are all seeing the kind of money that they are putting in the meeting. Uh, one bullet, and, um, the other guy, they, they are, I think they are, they are fight, they are fight trended when they fought, I think, two or three years ago. It really trended yeah. well. And, uh, they having the trilogy, the trilogy itself, just announcing it as even um, as trended and people like the expectation are very high. And right. he, I believe strongly if boss of his promotion uh, will take the advantage and like really bounce on this fight, they can do a very big fight, even maybe 
do the uh what do you call it a pay-per-view or something they can start a pay-per-view for uh for us to also uh, start uh for us to also continue it or also um tap into that blessing i really believe it's it's going to be a very big fight because just just the promo itself the normal promo that uh we all saw that it's going to be a trilogy like it's it's just wow it's everywhere and if if they are going to take the bosses are going to take advantage of this and really establish themselves. Kofi, after the trilogy, they can also get one or two fights, fight, um, get other competitive guys, fight them, give give us some good fight. And our focus will like our focus will start being uh, we'll start putting our focus on the local boxes instead of we really just always moving uh, to the US and stuff and looking at boxes at that place. If 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 one bullet them, Kofi, if if they will take advantage of this this COVID time and give us a good fight. Kofi, after a pay-per-view or something, if it's on pay-per-view and it's, it's shown live on Facebook everywhere, if it's going to be shown live, the numbers are going to be very huge. So, right, okay. yeah, I expect uh, I expect most of his promotion to um, have a plan. They shouldn't just make this uh, trilogy just a fight. They should have a plan. If you are going to make it free, then you must make sure that you have a, a nice package. It's business. So you have a nice package that after the free one of the boxes, the one that is going to win or the one that uh, is going to give a good performance, you put him up with another fighter because they already have the name. And they, 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 that kind of training that they're having now, even if they are fighting someone that is not really known and is a very a good boxer, so they can use that uh, trend to also promote it so that uh, uh, both of us can make some good money and promote more fights. I feel, I feel this, this year itself, this is uh, the fight that is a blessing to um, a promoter, like let's say a promoter like Boss of his uh, promotion. It's, it's, it's a blessing to him because all the fighters that we are seeing now, even throughout the COVID last year, this the fights were not really exciting to watch. Right. It was, right. They, they got they got good stages and all that, but it, they weren't exciting. Like just posting this, we've not seen the fight, too, but the kind of excitement and the expectation that we are we are seeing Kofi is amazing. So I think it's a blessing to uh right. you know, he just has to make sure he utilizes it to and the money will come. I'm a that so one time one of friend won it very beautifully very after after 12 rounds he won the fight and in fact there were some controversies after that 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 lose some people thought bullet won and then some people thought that sheriff carried it and then some way somehow the rematch came on and then we saw one of the most devastating knockouts in ghana boxing history the knockout that bullets knocked Sharif Kway out. Up to now, anytime I watch the video, I go like, wow, how did he fall? I still come down. I, 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 anytime I watch, I go like, and we still have this talent in Ghana because the way bullets was knocked out Sharif Kway, I mean, by all standards, one of the best knockouts in Ghana. And we were like, okay, so. And then so we are, I have you way in the head fight. I have you way. I have you way. What will happen? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. I confess, first of all, I feel so sad and bad that this particular fight, this dead fight, is happening during this time, time of COVID, time that people will know patronize the fight. People will not go to arena to watch the fight. I feel the pain. Fight. Okay, yeah, I feel pain. Because this is a very big fight. Very right. big fight by our standard. Mm -hmm. You see, first of all, Bullet is, for now, Bullet is the most talented, most skillful boxer in Ghana. Mm -hmm. You can talk about anybody else. Very talented, most skillful. Right. But he is the most indisciplined Boxer on the scene now. <laughs> very, very indisciplined. Very, very indisciplined. Okay. Very, very indisciplined. So standing yeah, yeah. on that indiscipline, he will lose this trilogy. Mm. You are standing on that indiscipline to lose for that. Yeah, to lose. just because of his indiscipline. Look, yeah. these guys are very talented, very skillful, yeah. and then in fact, he have a, he have a whole lot of things. Like the first fight, he will he will lose by knockout. 
the mm. first fight. He was about to be knocked out. But I don't know how he did it that day. He, he was able to survive it and went to <laughs> 12 rounds. I was shocked. Yeah, right. Oh, yes, I was shocked. Right. Yeah. He was he was going down totally. But he was doing some things. I said, like, ah, this guy, what is happening? And then before I see, he finished the 12th round. Right. Okay? Right. Right. To me, he yeah. lost the fight. But the way he managed to finish the 12th round in the first fight, I was like, wow. And this guy is very good. Mm -hmm. And then the second fight that I did not watch live, I heard the news the following morning. I said, what? Yes, very shocking. Bullet, bullet, knockout, Sheriff Kwe. Sheriff Kwe. Yeah. On think <laughs> And then he was Surprising. the champion at that time. On think <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You see, so this is what it is. When you are champion, especially our local boxers, when you are champion, it's everywhere in boxing anyway. But our local boxers do it to some extent that you really, really find it very difficult to believe. When they are champion, they think, oh, it's this rosary. That is how it is. Okay? They refuse to train hard. They come in with some jamborees and things like that. They don't concentrate. <laughs> That is what caused them to be lost in whenever they are champions. And right. that is what caused Sir Sheriff Kwe to lose that title in that devastating manner to uh, uh, Bullet. Mm -hmm. Because Bullet cannot easily knock Sheriff Kwe out, no matter what. It might be on point. But to knock him yeah. out, that means Sheriff Kwe didn't do his work. He didn't train. He didn't do the things that he should do before the fight. He's feeling that rosary, champion rosary. That is what caused him. Mm. So... If Bullet is concentrating and then work hard during the gym time and things like that and going into this fight, look, Bullet will be in a very tight corner. Because Sheriff is bigger, stronger than Bullet. That is it. And then how slick can Bullet be from round one to round 12 if uh, uh, Sheriff Quay is in his element having mm. all the size having the power and things like that how slick will uh, 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 bullet be from round one to round 12 that is my point so mm. this fight is going to be one of the biggest fight in ghana here but covid is trying to lower <laughs> the distance. Yeah, that is my problem. Yeah. Hey, well, COVID is not you? helping the fight. Like this fight will be a fight that, in fact, when you think about it after all, you will feel it. Right. Right, guys. That's my um, point. What are talking about between these two guys that you see in our picture, uh, like you see on the screen now. We're talking about one bullet that's uh, the one in the dark, uh, the black um, hoodie. Versus one time Sheriff Quay uh, in the Ash um, um, Cup. These two have given Ghanaians, I mean, the best of fights. You know, um, the first fight, Sheriff, Sheriff won the fight uh, after 12 rounds of boxing. The second fight, um, the one in the black, Michael Ansan won the fight by knockout. And we are looking to see them bounce back in the Independence Day. So we have back on the Japanese day and see who will be able to win a third fight. And guys, like you heard from Amedo, that is one fight that people really want to go fill up the arenas to go watch. And unfortunately, because of COVID-19, it doesn't look promising. But one thing I know Box Office is trying to do is that it's trying to stream this fight live online for people to be able to watch this fight. And um, like Soa also said, I think it would have been great for him to get out of Whatever situation it is, we want to monitor it and then definitely update boxing fans. But this fight is definitely going to be one of the biggest fights post COVID 19. Of course, we're still living with it, but um, in Ghana, I feel like all the shows that have happened, yeah, they were really okay, some were fine and all that. But this fight was this, this show will really have a lot of eyeballs in Ghana um, uh, because these two guys. Anytime that they are in the ring, as fireworks, they are both very good. But guys, don't forget, eh? They could have fought before COVID nineteen if Bullet didn't have that injury. The, everything was set for them to fight. Everything. The last fight in Ghana before COVID nineteen, it was their show. It was a box office um, box office 
promotions in collaboration with the Ghana Boxing Authority, the Feast of Fury. Where so after the Wasiru fight, they were supposed to fight next, but um, Bullet picked up an injury in his foot, and because of that, they postponed it. So everything was postponed, and every new date was set. I think it was in August. Everything was set only for COVID nineteen to come and tell us that they are a Remember, remember, take over. And so when he came, everything just, everything just, just went back. And then all we realized was, okay, fine. Then the fight is not going to happen. But for it to come back now, I'm super excited. One, that the guys will be able to earn money. That's that's where I look at it first from because they've been out of the ring for a very long time. And don't forget, most boxers in Ghana do boxing full time, full time. So if they are not fighting, it means they are not making any revenue or they are not making any money. So um, if March, the fight was supposed to come on in March and it's now coming in February. The fight that was supposed to come on in March is now happening in February. You can imagine like 11 months. So money, training camp, everything like it's all, almost gone. So I'm excited that one will be able to make money. And then two, if they're able to give us a very good show, it means that uh, definitely we'll see them and none of them gets severely injured after the fight. It means we can see them back like the way. So I saying that even if them that wins, we should just try and get them other fights, you know, to build up momentum and that uh, promotions, you know, to, to for, for 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 the guy's name to shoot um, to the next level. But another thing that's making me more excited is that it is a Commonwealth elimination or eliminator fight. It means any of them that win this fight will go face somebody. I don't know, maybe in the US, uh, in the UK or Australia or somewhere. Any of these Commonwealth nations for them to be able to. Um, 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 see their chances and maybe also move on from them. If the person is able to win, become a, a, a local champion, become a, a common world champion, and hopefully maybe on one of these promoters will be able to work with them or something. Now, I want to get a very quick prediction from you guys before we jump into the international conversation. Now, so uh, for you, Bullet and then Sheriff Kui, if this fight happens, what will be your prediction? Yeah, I think I'll, I'll be I'll be going for bullet. The uh, knockout is dangerous anyway, but yeah, you, yeah. I, of, I think I will just show the whole fight, and when I get to the knockout, I replay it, replay for people to see because up to now I'm still trying to get how he was able to knock the guy out. Now, yeah. Kujo, if this fight happens and it's happening on on set fifth uh, set match, what's your prediction? For Sheriff Kui for last minute knockout in the round 12 knockout. Interesting. Round 12 knockout. <laughs> yeah, round 12 knockout. <laughs> I mean, interesting. <laughs> Canelo is in the news, uh, Manny Pacquiao is in the news, Mike Tyson and uh, Ivan the Holy are also in the news. The good thing about Canelo's news is that the good thing about Canelo is that now he's not just a boxer, but he's his own promoter. So now we have the Canelo Promotions LLC. And he has been given the license by the Las uh, Vegas. Uh, I think the Nevada State Commission that he will be able to, you know, promote himself. So that is what we have on the Canelo camp. I mean, how did you receive the news? Um, so, uh, I wasn't surprised, though. I wasn't surprised. Um, it's a news I was expecting to happen because um, it's, it's under Oscar Laoya, and we also how did Oscar Laoya? Uh, how has been Oscar the lawyer? Uh, how has he been able to sustain himself after boxing? Because <laughs> fighting has brought it to start his own promotion. And in, in history, we can all attest that Mayweather in his prime, the only person that took money, that took a bigger purse than him is Oscar the lawyer. And mm -hmm. you know, it's, 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 it's although in a way it 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 affects promoters, I also think it's, it's a good way to go. Because um, Canelo, we all know Canelo, age is not his, age, age is not his, uh, on his side. And right now he's the biggest boxer, he's the biggest, he's the is a, is a, um, a face of boxing now. So if he can, he can become his own promoter, manage himself and all that uh, with Eddie Reno. So it's, it's a big plus to him. He's going to make millions. And this gives him, if not for COVID, I think this, this would have given him an opportunity to even amass a career worth, like all-time career worth in boxing. Because he's yeah. the biggest team now. And um, 
It's, it's only COVID that might slow his income, but I still believe it will, it will make a good one. If it doesn't pass me, whether it doesn't pass me, whether will be very close to me, whether or even um, end his career with uh, with a level of me, whether. So I think it's it's a good way to go. Interesting. Uh, uh, um, so uh, uh, sorry, I'm a daughter. When he heard the news, do you think that was the reason why he dragged Oscar de la Hoya to the court to courts in the first place? That's the only reason. He's thinking about money. That's the only reason why. Because everything is rosary for him. Everything is very, very rosary for him in that camp. Everything is rosary for him. Uh, you don't know the history about uh, Canelo fighting old men. No. Uh, yeah, that is what he'll be doing. Even to the extent of somebody who is having WBC title, who relinquished the title with some something that you don't even know. Go and chop some meat. You say you chop meat because there's some cankers and then things like that. And they work all this for you, okay? So what do you want again? Yeah. If it's all about money, what again do you want? It's all about money. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. But are you excited that he's now his own promoter or you think it would have been best if he, to, for him to go back to Oscar de la Hoya to work with you? Can you hear us, man? Oh, it's not doing him any good. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you now. Yeah, what I'm saying is, it's good that he's now his own promoter. Because this is a guy, when he was very young, he was doing very well. Anything that they put in front of him, he proved himself. Okay? He's doing, he was doing very well. And then now, the things, the expectations... We're not like uh, the fight that he's supposed to fight are not coming on. So everybody, like, everybody was like, ah, it's Oscar who is causing those things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then if he fight a good fight, the fight that he's supposed to fight, the fight that people want for him to fight, if he's fighting those fights, he might make a bigger name for himself than uh, uh, what he's, he was doing. So mm -hmm. if everybody is believing that it's Oscar De La Hoya who is causing Golden Boy promotion is causing that, and then mm -hmm. now, and that is like the money that you are expecting and all getting to your end and things like that. So it's a big plus for you to take yourself out there. So if you take yourself out, then everybody will be, hey, yeah, now you take yourself out, you can fight the bigger fight and then make bigger money for yourself. So that the ball is in his own court. But he don't want to prove. Okay. He, don't, he doesn't want to prove. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> but uh, let, me, let, let, me, yeah. let me come to you. Let me come to you, So uh, I mean, the big fights that we want to see Canelo fight. I mean, the, the, the Charlo brothers, um, you know, uh, one thing fights them. Uh, and that, uh, you know, the Bobo, uh, I mean, those guys, you know, Bobo Andre and all those guys, those are the guys that we're expecting. Right? Do you think that with him being his own promoter now, we will see Canelo in this or uh, fighting these top guys? Well, he, I tell you, if there was nothing like coronavirus, these are the fights. It will, it will, it will fight. Three big fights on a row, I tell you. And mm -hmm. after after beating some of them, there will be rematch. Because right now the agenda is to amass work within the shortest possible time. Because you know all the divisions, there's not a division that is really like all kick that all the uh, focus is on. It's, it's, it's all play all now. So right. you will make your your division the, uh, the 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 money making division. And mm -hmm. Canelo has that ability to make. To make uh, to do that, so if not for COVID, Kofi, I tell you, you won't be fighting. You won't be fighting small small names, cause in a way, to uh, Canelo was running for big big fights. What was his plan? His plan is okay. Let me end my contract with Oscar Lawyer. I fight the big big names, cause we all know the big big names is going to bring more money. Right. And if it's with Canelo, <laughs> Oscar Lawyer, the big big money he has to share with Oscar Lawyer. Right now that yeah. is alone, he has been able to um, start up his own promotion and all that. Kofi, even not for COVID, I tell you, your man, I mean, he, 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 he granted an interview. He said he's going to fight three times or four times uh, this year. Four times. 
Yeah, four times this year. Four times this year. So it's full of action. He wants money. He wants money. He wants to amount to what as soon as possible before a new division comes, a new boxer comes that he will become the face of uh, boxing. Right now, he is riding on that. So, Kofi, yeah. even not for COVID, I tell you, you fight Chalo, uh, will fight all the big, big boys. And yeah. even give the rematch to, uh, to uh, Triple G. Triple G. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting, interesting comments coming in from Kamenu. But of course, we we'll keep our eyes close to him because one of the fighters, like you said, the face of boxing. And so everybody has their eyes on. Same with same with us at Kbox TV. So if he drops, Adrian, at the moment he has your dream to fight, and there is a contract between. Um, I think Adrian says that they have already put a contract that he will fight Billy Joe Sanders somewhere around uh, summer. So, we'll, yeah. we'll, so from, from so from this fight. They, they will fight next, and I mean, hopefully, by then he himself would, have, would drop the other two names that he will be fighting because he said that this year he's looking to fight four times in the year. Now let's jump to Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao has been made champion in recess by the WBA. You know, they made him the champion in, in recess, and then last week, no, I think within the, the week, he posted a tweet that he was coming to fight soon. Who are you coming to fight? They have made you champion in recess. Eh? WBA has made you champion in recess, and then if made um, how do you call it? Um, uh, you guys, the WBA regular uh, super champion now. So my question, uh, what I'm, what I don't know is, with him tweeting now, he is coming back. Is he coming back to take the title to go defend, or is coming back to fight the the Ryan Garcia that he was talking about, or is coming to fight Conor McGregor? I don't know, but. I want to get your opinions. I mean, uh, uh, Kujo, Manny Pacquiao says he's coming back. Who do you think is coming to fight? Will he be fighting people in the top, in, in the in the in the um, water weights, or he will be coming to fight for that money fight? Uh, Kobe, Manny Pacquiao some time ago said that because of the. Uh, 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 people in his country that he need to help them that is why he's still in boxing he said that in some years now okay he said it's because of the poor people in his country that is why he's still in boxing okay yes mm. and then <laughs> when was the last time money back out for a fight like oh, 2020 no, no. No, no, the last time Manny Pacquiao climbed ring. And mm -hmm. that was the title that he got from uh, uh, somebody. So the whole of the whole of 2020, Manny Pacquiao didn't fight. Mm -hmm. Now 2021 started flying. And then mm -hmm. we are waiting for Manny Pacquiao to come up. He said he's coming to fight for exhibition. That is all he said. Oh. He's coming to fight exhibition. It's oh. Manny Pacquiao who made that announcement that he's coming for exhibition mm -hmm. with the whole title. And then WBC, WBC, insultingly. <laughs> WBC came up. Yeah, uh, WBA. Yeah, WBA yeah. came up telling us that, hey, he upgraded uh, somebody who didn't fight for years and is having a title that hey he should be isolated nobody should go closer to him and look at all this so, and look at all this yeah, look at all this yeah. the person is having a title okay yeah, he's that. having a world title a world title that you suppose we even give the person that this is that hey go and fight you say oh you feel comfortable in this corner don't fight unless you yourself you want why will, he, why will he come out and be saying that he's coming to fight the exhibition? Whereby uh, bosses are there waiting for him. People are high red, won the title. Okay? Right. Even right. Uh, this Sikla guy, uh, uh, what's the name? Terman, say he won rematch. Okay? <laughs> you are not talking about all these fights. You yourself, you call, uh, uh, what's the name? Uh, Spence. Say, hey, Spence, right. let's fight. Spence, say, I'm ready. You say, oh, no, you pack yourself. Let me fight as the oh with a small boy, <laughs> 21 years boy. Now, so when you come back saying that you are ready to come, you are ready to come and to come and fight who? Why didn't you say it immediately that this is the fight that I'm coming for? 
You want to put us <laughs> in another this thing again, thinking about it. Oh, who is uh, Pakao coming to fight? People are there. Terence Crawford is there, begging you that oh, you let go into the ring. I will not beat you that much. We will do it in a, uh, you see, in a manner that everybody will feel good. You don't want that, okay? <laughs> now that you say you are coming out, you are coming out, and so what? WBA give you the chance to relax. Don't fight. So hang on that. We understand it. Don't come mm -hmm. and then be tweeting and then be uh, uh, Facebooking and then be saying that you are coming back. Coming back for what? Interesting. Interesting. So, uh, I mean, Manny Pakao, what, what, what do you think is happening with, with, with the legend? Uh, we, we all know right now, Manny Pakao, he wants to cash out. He wants to cash out. Um, I, he out a lot. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're cashing out. They're cashing out that they did. You know, um, I don't know, but what I feel is they still want to cash out. He wants to amass that big money, then he can retire. And, you know, people have tried to retire him, but um, it didn't work out. And his latest victory with um, Kitema mm -hmm. puts him on a different scale that even most of the uh, most of the people at 147, like the Terrence Crawford, the Spence, they all wanted to do something like, let me fight him and I'll end his career so that he can pick that glory that I was able to end this legend's career. You know, it's going to be everywhere. So yeah, right. that is what they all, they all wanted. But Pakao is not afraid of those fights. Pakao can take that. He can take any of those fights. But what Pakao wants now is he wants to make sure he's able to use what he is now to make a lot of money before he takes those fights. Because those fights are retirement fights. You understand what I'm saying? And that's the reason why he was even considering fighting McGregor. But things also didn't work out well. McGregor also lost usually <laughs> like a sleeping, a sleeping this day, baby. Right. We can't take out to a fool. Like right. we really pay attention. Even though he was it was good to fight McGregor, we needed McGregor in a good uh in a good condition. McGregor that we know that even though he's going to beat him, he should be in a good uh he should be in a good fight McGregor. What McGregor lost and he was trying to put the attention on uh Ryan Garcia, which was going to be an exhibition fight that won't affect their record. Right. And why did he choose Ryan Garcia? Because Ryan Garcia is a new kid and is the one that is generating all the do. But if you want to look at their weight, the weight division and all that, and looking at the career of Ryan Garcia, a young boy that is coming up. Kofi, I don't think Golden Boy promotion, even though they want money, will allow for that kind of fight to happen. I don't want to see that kind of fight. Mm -hmm. I don't want mm -hmm. to see that. It doesn't speak well of boxing itself because it looks like right now, all boxers are just trying to make money. We shouldn't right. be the kids. Let's pick big, big competition. Make money out of it so that when you are there and you enjoy your money, you know you fought, you fought for it. It shouldn't right. be, it shouldn't always be like trying to play on the on the on the on the this thing of the fans, you can't do that. Because right now everybody wants to do big big fight, uh, fight McGregor, make some millions, put it down. No, you don't have to do that. So it's it's coming that he said um, a fight to be announced. I don't think it's going to be with Ryan Garcia. I don't think it's going to be with McGregor. I'm looking at the 147. I I, I feel he's going to fight maybe Spence or I don't see him fighting Crawford. Mm -hmm. Maybe I, I I think it will be it will be Spence because Spence is also really pushing for the fight. So. Oh, Yes, I think it should be Spence. But I don't see him fighting any exhibition fights. Oh. And Kobe, all jokes aside, oh. but uh, Pakao is still a dangerous guy. He's still a dangerous... See, of the fact that Pakao has not even mounted a stage, he has not even mount mounted a ring from twenty from 2020 to today's 2021, Kofi, fear him. The fear of Pakao in boxing is the beginning of is is the beginning of long year ten. Long year ten, long career. So to be better than fear him, and he took his time. He was able to beat him. He did not fear Pakao. He saw what happened to Kitema. He thought Pakao is a good guy. He disciplined him. So Pakao, I beg, Margarito will tell you. Oscar the lawyer will tell you. All these big big people. Kitema will tell you. Kitema <laughs> also tell you. That's more boy. That's more skinny boy. Don't take it for <laughs> Right, man. I am, man. I mean, it's the truth you're saying, man. Hotel, even at 45, we'll still be Like, yeah, he's not 45 years old yet, but even at 
for it's, come on, it's like it's like Mike Tyson and Randa Hollywood. It like it just leads into it. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. our last our last topic, but it leads into it. You know, there are some people like they have done so much for the sport, and anytime they step into the ring, you know, you can't take it away from them. You the yeah. small time that you 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 lose concentration, that's that same small time that or they you end you. You know, so yeah. and, and then and then they'll be jumping and then you'll be there, and then you and your young boy. It's, in fact, of late the young boys are disappointing us. You fire you yeah, young boy, you young prospect, and then they'll put in with a, a with someone who is older than him, and then meanwhile, you the young boy, you are coming with fresh blood and everything. Charlie, I thought you not boys, they don't train. They might do the train. They might do the train. <laughs> 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 but, yes, I think I think I think. I would love to see Pacquiao fight one of the people in 147. A Crawford fight would be nice. Errol Spence fight would be nice. Even if he fights um, Sean Portes, it would be a very good fight too as well. Any, 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 all, any, if, if he gives a rematch to um, 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 Kiteman would be fight. If he decides to fight the WBA regular, uh, who is now the WBA uh, super champion, uh, Yugas uh, Seth, it will still be a nice fight. So, I mean, it's one of the fights that... Um, Anybody he chooses in that division that he fights with, I feel like it will be a very good fight. So let's hope and see that. Let's hope that it's one of the fights that will go into the record and not just a exhibition fight. But hey, people still want to see Mapakao fight. So anybody that he, he, he mounts the ring with, I feel like he, he will still generate the, the eyeballs and he will still, you know, cash out. It's just like after, I feel like the next big thing after after Floyd, or is, 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 uh, the next big thing. Making real money, yes, Canelo. But I would always say Pakam because of the, the if you're, if you go to history today, the people would not have generated the most money. One fight is between men and money Pakam. So I always would like definitely anytime that he mounts the ring, it comes with money. Just the work, just the ring work and quan before he gets into the ring, it is plenty more. And then before yeah. you leave the ring, and then you also make another ring work. It's just <laughs> some more money. So that no, guy, no. yes, yeah, so that's that's the walking in and out crowd. I cash out TV before he gives the people action. So I mean, we would love to see him in the ring, but we would love for him to give us some competition before you know he yeah. he hugs his 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 gloves. Now let's talk about the last topic that we have. To, uh, that's the the legends that are finally. Agreeing to coming back because Ivan only first said, I said that um, this year he's going to have that fight with Mike. And they've sent papers and everything around, or they're waiting for their confirmation, and maybe they'll come up with a date. And then, you know, uh, hopefully, we we'll see our legend. We saw what he did with Rogers Jr. Uh, last year, it wasn't the, the, the best of fights, but I think it, it, for their age, it's, it's, it's fairly okay. In fact, we, sometimes we even watch some fight in Ghana, that fight that they give us was even better than that. You understand? So we, we, we took it like that. Even though I know that was not happening, we took it like that. <laughs> but this time, we are going to see two legends. I mean, the fight fight has always been the, the way that, anytime we mention Mike Tyson and Evander Holyford, it's the bad fight that comes to mind. But, um, but this time, now this time that they are more close and more fun and more, you know, approachable and everything we want to see them do it one more time in a trilogy and it's 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 what the world is waiting for um let me come to you so um how excited are, are you about this news and then um if this fight happens what do you expect um, um when it happens uh, with my excitement level i think it's normal i wouldn't say it's that big it was it was a huge win when in the COVID times and there were no fight and I thought they were going to fight. But right now I think it's normal and my expectation is that uh, and a fight with uh, Holyfield, if Holyfield is going to continue his start, that calmness and mm -hmm. I throw a punch, I move, I throw a punch, I take some of your punch. I think the, I think um, Holyfield might win the fight again because you know. Mm -hmm. The style of Holyfield is not interesting to watch, but mm. it's very technical and it's very useful. And if boxers, even at the 135, who uh, look at the way Holyfield fights, most of them will beat the boys at 135. Because the 135, they are all relying on speed and power, speed and power, speed and power. When Tyson was fighting uh, Holyfield, he was relying on speed and power. What happened? Holyfield will just be there with throw that huge, huge ones. 
So you feel you feel the pain, then gradually your, your pace will start slowing. And you know anybody that fights with speed and power, once you punch them, hard one, they get confused. Mm. So their speed naturally drops and it, they, they start generating fear. Mm. And that is, even if you look at um, when uh, Lopez was fighting uh, Lomachenko, later, in the latter rounds, when Loma was able to start, you know, I started reading the fight that he started punching Lopez. Lopez slowed down. It was only that round 12 that I didn't know what happened. Like in the latter round, round 12, the Lopez came in as a beast again and he won the fight so nice. So mm -hmm. if if you watch Lopez, the way Holyfield fight, the way Holyfield fight, Kofi, I think is the best. You just have to make sure that you are, you can absorb punches. Once you can absorb punches, don't fear, don't be intimidated by it. When you take them, and Kofi is, is beautiful. The only thing that maybe might not work for Holyfield is that maybe right now when you look at uh, Holyfield and Tyson, it looks like Tyson is more uh, more active and more healthier than um, Holyfield. That is the only thing that um, I'm reading about. I, I, we, could, we could still be surprised that Holyfield is just like that and he's still like, he's still style of boxing and he's still style. So okay. it doesn't even look like, on the table when you look at Mike Tyson's last fight with Jones, it doesn't even look like Tyson is going to win the fight so easily. Anything right. can happen. The trilogy, right. anything can happen. And the, the last thing too is that only only field is broke. It's a broke. It's a broke man now. So Tyson will only agree so that he can he can uh, only field can cash also put some money. Yes, right. it's only cash out. Only field has got it to us. <laughs> yes, and if this Ryan Garcia and the Lopez and the Devontes they are watching, they must learn from this. You don't have right. to be in your old age and come and fight for the fans just to get something to eat. Don't do that. Make sure you make good investment. Make sure you save. You save a lot so that when you retire, you just retire and enjoy your money. You can just be there enjoying your money till you die. Don't come back to the ring for money. They shouldn't do that. So they should learn. They should learn from that. Apart from that, Kofi, let's wait to see. We, we the fans, we are here to enjoy. So we are here to enjoy. <laughs> it? We, are, we are the enjoyment people. We are here to enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, right, 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 right. Now, 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 let me jump to Amedoda and then get his reactions on the uh, possible my starting versus Ivan the Holy Four Five. <coughs> Kofi. <laughs> the other time, I was very, very, very much ashamed of myself when WBC jumped into the Roy Jones and uh, Mike Tyson fight and then started creating title and things like that for them. Right, the kids right. need title. They need money. They need sanctions. <laughs> you are not doing it for them. You go on these old people, okay? These old people that uh, the fight is not even interesting. They are just doing things. You see, even uh, 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 Roy Jones and uh my tyson will be better than holyfield and my tyson mm. roy jones and my tyson don't have any blood blood uh, bad blood between them but holyfield and tyson have bad blood so much bad blood between them okay and then when uh, uh, uh my tyson and holyfield first happened later on even the first fight and then the second fight people were believing that uh, uh holyfield was on roid people were believing it strongly and if you watch so many things so many things attached to it you realize that no if under holyfield was on roid during those two fights and then the way he go about the fight if under holyfield is one of the dirtiest fighters one of the dirtiest fighter so far in boxing history and then when you look at the way he go about those fights those two fights and then you think about it, you realize that no, this guy was on Royd. And then one other thing is, before the first fight, he jumped into the camp of Ria, uh, uh, Lihani. Who is Lihani? Lihani was uh, 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 the competitor in, uh, 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 what was the name? Bodybuilding, okay, against, uh, what's the name? During the time of uh, this senator, what's the name? Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. He was competing with Arnold Schwarzenegger then time. And we all know that the bodybuilders, they, 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 they are free with uh, uh, drugs. 
okay? Mm. They are free with Roy. That then time, I don't know now they change their whatever, okay? And he was the instructor, the physical instructor of uh, Ivan the Holyfield before the first fight. And then when you know Ivan the Holyfield very well, and then how he came into the ring, if you see his body, his uh, 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 shoulders and things like that, you realize this is not Ivan the Holyfield. He was on roid before that fight. And then as he came into the fight, you will see how he managed the fight that time. He came in to bully Mike Tyson because Mike Tyson is smaller. And then he went on to put on that meat that nobody knew where those meat were coming from on his neck, his shoulder, and things like that. And he was not, Mike Tyson was tired of his life around that time. During that fight, he don't know what he was doing because the guy was there like chimpanzee coming no retreat no surrender bully him out okay and that is the cause of the second fight the ear bite in the second fight because mm -hmm. he even complained that time to the referee the referee said no go and fight because that time the whole world don't like the boxing fraternity don't like uh, uh, this thing mm -hmm. uh, 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 my tyson because of the uh, rape issue nobody like my tyson around that time so they just want somebody who will clear my Tyson out. So as he was under pressure, and uh, so many things that uh, uh, Holyfield was bullying him, shouldering him, headbutting him, and things like that, the referee don't want to listen to him. So that is why he went to the second fight. He said, okay, if the referee is not there for me, I'll be there for myself. That is why he bite his, his ear. You understand? So that is a very big bad blood between them. So why... Those people, why, why, why partner those people now to go and uh, do fight again? What are they fighting for? But this fight is coming on just because even the Holy Food is the broke person. He don't have money. He's going through so many things. So he just won this fight. And then this fight is a fight that can generate money than any fight that my uh, that Holy Food will go into. True, yes. True. A lot of money. This is the only fight that can generate more money than any fight Holy Food will go into. Hollywood mm -hmm. got to a point that he's trying everything. It's not working. He even tried to manage some of Ghanaian boxes. He gave them a fight. Yeah. Later on, the fight bounced. Everything, things are not ready. And then they put everything aside. You understand? Mm -hmm. So Hollywood yeah. is a broke person. He don't know. Nothing is going on for him. Okay? Mm -hmm. Nothing is going on for Hollywood. So this is the mm -hmm. fight that can bring money. And then another thing. Hollywood is so tired. Very old. Whatever mm. that he do, if he, if, he, if he's jogging, you will see that this is old man doing something. <laughs> okay? Yeah, yeah, those are the things. So he wanted like, oh, just one time I get this with mm. uh, uh, my Tyson, small money come, I can manage mm. it, then I go mm. into my old age and then whatever happened, then I take it like that. Oh. That is why. Oh. So this is, they shouldn't bring it into boxing. I don't think it's part of boxing. Interesting. This one is not part of boxing. Eh? <laughs> no <way. laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for your time. Um, another news or breaking news coming in is like Bavaro is eyeing a Lomachenko comeback against Mayoshi Nakatani in the summer. So looks like that is what. We Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that's, that's what we are looking at. Uh, that will be a, a big fight. <laughs> A very very good fight, you know. A, a South Pole, you know, another South Pole, you know. So, <laughs> so South Pole versus um, Charlie is going to be a very tough fight. So that's what we're looking at. It's, he just came on, uh, he just came on, and then that's 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 the breaking news. I mean, hopefully by the time we come up, we back, we come back here next week, we will have more details on it, and then we'll be able to you know talk about it. Guys, thank you uh, for making time again. And before you go, I want to get your last words on the topics that we've discussed. Uh, let me take it from, from you to, I mean, your last words uh, before we end the show today. Uh, in my last words uh, will go to uh, box office promotion. Uh, it's not so, so hard to put uh, a one time uh, Sheriff Gray together and even make sure. They are they are that also name that when uh, you put something about them or the trilogy about them, it spreads like wildfire. So mm -hmm. uh, what I want to say now is they should have a plan. 
Mm. You shouldn't just let his hard work just go off like that. Even if it's going to make the trilogy um, a free fight to watch for everyone to watch, you should have a plan. After the, after the trilogy, those boys, you should make money out of them. You shouldn't let them go like the way um, you were able to promote Bukum Bankum when um, uh, Basti and at the end of the day, you have not even made any money out of them. Just one fight that people were expecting the rematch. Like, uh, uh, this this time around, you should make something because Kofi, we are all looking. And you know, right. if you are going to get it easy, it depends on what our uh, the people in front of us will do. If they are able to clear the way really well for us, it becomes easy. We know that these are the basics. When you promote a fight and really goes well, you don't end there. You have to make sure you get this, use this, cash out, make good money so that you stay in business. So yeah. my last words to him that uh, I, I don't know if this fight we can choose to make it a pay-per-view maybe as low as five cities. Uh, let's, we will pay. We'll pay to watch. Five cities uh, is a new money. When people like to pay to watch. So you should try and do that and let's see how the buys, how many pay-per-view buys can happen. Then after that, um, it will inspire a lot of us to that. Okay, if I'm going to um, bring this investor, or I'm going to tell, I'm going to take loan to do a fight. I know I have an assurance that even if I do a pay-per-view of five series, I can get maybe a thousand people watching or uh, two thousand people watching. So I can work with that as well. So that's my last verse to uh, Tiamat. Right, that's 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 some really deep deep um, uh, thought. Something for really um, him to really think about, and I think I agree with. A uh, five series at least. I think a lot of us will pay to watch. And uh, yes, it is worth five CDs and even more for us to even pay to watch. Um, la- let me come to you, uh, Amedo, that your final words before uh, we end the show today. Richard Kome, who is fighting this very Saturday? Mm, mm. Uh, in fact, Richard Kome, I don't know. But I am seeing some things that I don't like about how he go about his things. He's a very good boxer, very tough-minded, hard at training and things like that. But I don't know, psychologically, the guy is not matching his other things. His structure is not matching it. His boxing skills is not matching it. It's not matching psychologically, it's not matching those things. That is his downfall. Okay, whenever he granted interview, you will see more flaws in his interviews and things like that. I don't know the kind of tricky questions that uh, uh, the journalists ask him and things like that, and then the things that he talk about. His last interview, I realized he was talking about how he is doing, he is being philanthropist, helping some other boxes and things like that. This is not the time. This is not the time. You have to concentrate. And then make sure that he's on top of what he's doing. The reason why his name is lost is not just because of the journalist. It's because of he himself too. Okay? It's because of he himself too. When you are, you get a chance to talk to Mike, uh, yeah, to say something that people will realize, hey, this person, who cares if you are philanthropist? Okay? Even there are some live boxes are now helping other boxes. And to the Joshua like this, okay, he's been helping more boxes. But I never heard him on interview about the fight and then he's talking about those things. That is, those are the things that some of our local boxes or some of our Ghanaian boxes will learn. Unnecessary things are unnecessary. Okay. Richard is one of the few Ghanaians that have the chance to take world titles. So why can't he concentrate? And I know that, I, I believe strongly that he's out of that concentration. That is why he lost the fight against uh, Teofimo that badly. Because everything shifts shift out his side to the other side. And then he's like, ah, he's a new guy coming into the arena and things like that. Where did he help him? Okay, so he should, be concent- he should concentrate and then know that, hey, this is what I'm coming to do. And then concentrate on that and then do it. We are there to talk for you. Whatever that you do will not be in vain. Whatever good, whatever philanthropy, whatever that you do will not be in vain. We are there to come out and then say it for you. But if it is time like this that you are you're coming back and then you are talking about 
things outside what you should concentrate on. But those are the things that will not help you yourself. People will not hear of you. People will not like to read your news and things like that. If people read your news, that is where they will believe that hey, this, this and this and that is what this guy is doing. This guy is coming up and then he, this is his concentration and what he's ready to do. So he should concentrate and then concentrate well. And then this part he's going in, in fact, he should be very, very careful. If this fight travels to round 12, I'm afraid. But I know he will win. But he might win, but still will not celebrate. Because you will not celebrate because you win and people don't care about your win. You understand? So he okay. should come out with, we know his uh, uh, knockout ratio is very high. So he should continue, concentrate, and then make sure that he is a knockout at least. Mm. This guy is very tricky. So he should go on and then take the guy out before round 12 and then make his name. All right, you just heard it from Kujua Medoda. <clears throat> his last words is go straight to Richie Kome that you should concentrate and, you know, get a, a very solid and sounding victory on Saturday night against Jackson Mariners. Guys, thank you for making time for us and for all our viewers on KBOX TV. Also, thank you very much for also making time for us uh, to watch us. You're the reason why we keep doing this. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube, please kindly look at the uh, check your the description of this of this message the link is there just click on there and then subscribe so anytime you come on here you'll be able to you'll be notified and, and tune in to watch us and don't forget to always send in your comments and um any question that you want to ask you can send it to us either directly or inboxly or you can anytime anytime you are here you can also send it to us on here and then we'll definitely respond to you but guys our condolences again to soa you know for for for, for his loss and his family uh we, wish, we, 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 we hope that you guys have been able to mourn successfully and then um, everything. Definitely, we'll meet your cousin one day and then we'll all celebrate. Maybe with the red caps, but in a different way. You know you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, may, may, may so rest in peace. And please, all the fighters that are in Ghana, a lot of shows are coming. So, get yourself ready. Already, we have 20, February 28th coming on. And then box office show is going to be on set match. So I'm sure that it's going to be continuous from there. So uh, hopefully you guys will be able to get some opportunities to fight soon. So make you guys um, continue training, stay, stay stay fit, so that when the opportunity comes, you guys will be able to take advantage of it. But until then, we're back here on Thursday night and discuss another um, topic of what is happening within that particular week. Until then, guys, have a very good evening and stay blessed. Thank you. Thank you. All right.